Why, hello everybody. We will be looking at an exclusive preview today as a game known as Pirate King Online. This game is a MMO. It's in beta right now, so you can download it for free. And I'll tell you all that information here at the end, but let's go ahead and get this thing going. Go ahead and log in. Let's go into the character select screen right now. So I went into the server. You get three characters to start with. I'll just go ahead and jump in with my level 23 swordsman game I already have going here. And here it goes. I am right now, I'm in the game. I'm being attacked by this vicious wolf. He's just like going at my feet. Well, we'll go ahead and take this guy down right here. You can see I got my dual swords. And I'll try to get away from this guy so I can show you some more about it here. Of course, you know, if you play World of Warcraft and you know their memo, that's it's pretty much the same. Only this is like almost like an animated style type game. There's only a few out there, like Priston Tales, one I know offhand. Let me go ahead and skip down to the town here. No, hold on, hold on. For a second, though, I, I, I gotta show you this. You get to, like, fight camels on here. And you get to fight all various type of creatures. Penguins, dinosaurs, boxing kangaroos. And there's this unlimited. You fight pirate-looking guys and bandits, wolves. You get right out here in the desert. You got cactuses. So you got, you got a little cactus fiend right here. Go ahead and take care of this guy. And you got a lot of other players playing. And I want to show you how this other stuff works really fast. Hold on, let me get away from here so I won't be being attacked. I'm trying to show you. Um, see down here. As a, like I said earlier, I can only do a portion of the screen. See there, you got your typical health, your um, SP, and your experience bar. And you come over here, you got your little little mini map. Come down here, your basic commands, down at the bottom here. And we'll go ahead, I'll pause this, and we'll get you into town real fast. Well, what do you know? It's like magic. Here I am in town. So you got the basic setup, you got the exclamation points above the heads. The green means I have a quest for you, yellow means that you completed a quest. And white means nothing. <laughs> Let's see, you got some quests. You, you just click on, gives you the basic details of the quest, and then it'll tell you all about that. Journey to the east, you can accept that, but that one will take way too long right now. So that, that's basically, you know, you got these little towns. This isn't the main town, this is like a little outskirt town from the city. People with quests. It's not really a town, so it's like a little tribal place. You got three little quests you can do right here. It gives you experience. And then down here, well, let me go ahead and show you. You got... Oh, well, let me click it here. Here we, here we are. You got your little inventory here. See, basic armor, weapons, shield. You got a sword I'm waiting to use. So you know how all that works. You should anyway, unless you're... Never mind. Okay. Um, that's that's pretty much all the basic stuff about the game. I mean, I can show you a few creatures, but I don't want to make this too long. So I'll go ahead if you're interested in the game to go ahead and try it out. And I'll go ahead and I'm just pop on in and show you the different classes you can pick. Hold on, I'll pause it and get you there momentarily. All right, here we are to the character select screen. I'm going to go ahead and show you the different classes you can do. I mean, it's not basically you pick your I mean, you pick your class, but it's a little more complicated in the other games. You, know, you just go ahead and pick your class. See, you got the characters in the game. These are the four characters you can pick. And we'll go ahead and pick this boy. We'll pick the big guy right here. Gives you a basic, you know, description of what they are up here 
Yeah, you can go ahead and give him a name. Go ahead and then this boy Ralph Fantinos and pick up and just, and they have all different kinds of hairdos. You can get different hairdos throughout the game that you can find and put together. There's hair there's barbers or whatever you want to call them out there. You got different faces you can pick. Oh, Frankenstein himself. Um, you got. Ooh. Let's go ahead and pick the normal one right here. Except. And uh, right after that, you get this little thing right here. And these are the three main islands in Pirate King that you can pick from right here. You got. Argent City, that's I think that's pretty much the main city everyone goes to. Shiten City, that's like a blacksmith city and stuff. Then you come up here to Icicle Castle. And basically, these three islands are based on whichever one you pick. There are certain classes on these islands. Argent City is pretty much Swordsman Island. There's a Swordsman quest person you can get quests throughout the whole game, just constantly quest after quest they'll have for you, getting items, and they get harder depending on the higher levels you go to. And Shiten City is basically like a mage city or magic. And I think you can get a hunter in that city too. But this is the main hunter island right here, Icicle Castle. Hunters use bow and arrows. And it's pretty it's pretty interesting. I mean the coolest thing on this game though is you get to make build your own pirate ship upgrade it everything and if you hold on for a second this will be the last thing I'll show you here is the pirate ship feature so I'll go ahead and pause it and get you to that alright since we're short on time here I can't actually get in my boat and show you but I can show you what the boats look like here so Go ahead and pop up my vessel deed here. This shows my ship information. And uh, see right here, yeah, it's a pretty nice looking ship. For It's like my second ship. It's at level 6. You know, there's all the information. And your ships can do different things. You can catch fish with your ship and do trades with it. And Or you can have, like I have a steel arm on mine. Mechanical arm down here. Used for um, salvaging shipwrecks and get items out of that. And you got cannons out here. You fight things like these big mm, creatures that just try to pull your ship into the water. It's madness out there. It's like suicide, though, out there in the water. And you, there's secret islands, of course, you can find. Different islands that aren't shown on the regular map. It's a pretty big world, so. And that's all pretty much it for Pirate King. I hope this review gave enough detail and give you basic idea of the game and if you want this game like I said I'll tell you you can just go to www.pirateKingOnline.com sign up today and maybe I'll see you around and about out there and this game uh, deserves at least a 6 out of 10 I mean it's, it's a pretty nice little MMO here it's a beta so you see right here here's like, before I go there's a hunter right here this little this little girl right here see your bow and arrow so a hunter looks like let's see let's see if I can talk to this person real fast for you see you, you, you type in down here oh, see she said hi she said how are you how are you today See, say, how are you? See, you right click on him, add his friend, party invite, you one versus one him and fight him. And uh, you can say, uh, whatever the hell that means. Uh, oh, okay, there he <laughs> Alright, well, but that's, uh, that's about sums up this my, my review here. See, right here. I think if you're a hunter, you get your own pet to follow you along. So that's another cool thing about a hunter. So I'll tell her while well, she's leaving anyway. Uh, so, but, yeah, I hope you like this review, and hopefully maybe I'll see you in the game sometime. I'll see you guys later. Chrome Armored, signing out.